Well, how do that, chums? I've finally got it on my PlayStation D5. Let's jump on in and let's make our character inside of PlayStation 5. I can't freaking wait, mate. Thank you. Okay, chums, so the character that I feel really matters is your pawn. And you want to make your pawn highly desirable for recruiting. So I like to try and make pawns that really stand out. Things that people don't see in the rift all too often. So yeah, let's go for this, people. Let's jump on in. So I'm going to start off with a preset. I'm going to go for a small female sort of frame. Something like that, to be fair. Yeah, we'll go for this sort of frame to start out with. And yeah, I'm going to be trying to make a demon with this one. And I'll show you just my top tips. It's not worth me showing you every single little detail. Well, okay, that jumps. So this is what I've actually made. So I've got a little demony type face. Pretty darn cool. I had a little bit of dirt. So the way that I did this was to use tattoos. And I increased their size and I changed the colour to red. And there are patches where you can see the skin, like at the top of the legs and at the top of the shoulders. And then I've added on a white dirt print to sort of cover this sort of body, if you like, to sort of mottle the two tones together. But yeah, I think she looks quite demonish. I mean, she has got a bit of a white patch on the side of her face right here. So if I did want to change that up, if I go back to the actual tattoos and I go to the body tattoo. OK, body tattoos. Now, if I move the vertical position on this, you can see there I can move that light white patch up a little to where it's not really visible. And we get a little bit of a patch there instead, which looks a little bit better. So it's a case of just tinkering around until you get the actual tattoo coverage where you want it to be and how you want it to best look. And I quite like the overall look of that now. So that's kind of where I am with this. So I'm going to finalise this now. Chickaboom. Coolio. Uh, we need to set all the inclinations and stuff like that. So here we go. Let's go to vocation. Now... I kind of like the vocation that shows off the most skin, which isn't the fighter. The archer's quite cool. I mean, she does look quite cool as an archer. Mage looks very covered, let's face it. So I think I'm going to go for Thief. I think she looks really cool as a thief, as my pawn to start out with. Hopefully we get more vocations for our pawns. But yeah, I think she looks best as a thief right now, people. But, then, you know, there are other armor sets available as we play through. So I tend to choose this vocation that I least like to start out with just to level up when it's inside a game. So we're going to go with that. Cool. Inclination. Right. So kind-hearted, compassionate, devoted and dutiful. The most obedient sort of pawn. Favours a balanced approach with emphasis on support. Quick to aid allies in need. I quite like that. Calm, rational, shrewd and strategic or whatever. A pawn categorised by caution, favours defence and evasion, employing clever tactics to survive at all costs. That one fits a thief better, doesn't it? Simple, curious, earnest and adventurous, a pawn with the, ha the heart of the sleeve, enjoys exploring, gathering items and is always up for a challenge. A handy one. Candid, flippant and impulsive, a pawn abound to... Hmm, Recepts again, enjoys the thrill of combat, tackling fierce foes head on. Don't really like that. Um, if you come across a troll, which is kind of like attracted to females, and the females go running at it, they usually get battered. So I'm just going to use simple for that one, I think. Okay, let's have a listen to the voices then. So The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. Quite deep. Mm. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. That's not too bad. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. That one's about mid-range, it's not too annoying. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. A little bit too shrill. The people here are evacuated Far too and shrill. Safe. I'm going to go for, for number moment. three. There we go. So there we go. Finalise. Okay, so I've got to give her a name. So I'm going to be calling her Phoenix. So there we go. Let's put that in then. Theo. Nix. And Phoenix is a bird that rises from the ashes and flames. If you know Harry Potter and all that sort of stuff, you'd know Phoenix. There we go. Mokia. Now I need to find one that kind of sort of links into that rising from the ash ashes. It would be nice to find something that's quite, you know, in keeping with that. I wonder if there's Angel there. I wonder if Demon is in here. Because that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? 
Mm, no, you can have angel, but you can't have demon. Well, I suppose some of them are fallen angels, aren't they, at the end of the day? Demons. So I'm going to call her angel. Fudge it. There we go. Angel. There we go. Phoenix angel. Pretty cool. Fallen angel at that. Confirm. And yes, that'll do. So that's my pawn created to go over into game once um, we get there. Create new character. So I've created my main pawn. That's going to be Phoenix. Now to create my Arisen. Cool. Okay, right. Well, I tried to make him look as close to me as possible. I mean, on this arm, I have got a load of scythes and, and dragons and lizards and stuff. And close, I can find with a sword and some heads. But on the opposite side, I have got like a, a dragon there and uh, the heart. So on the other hand, on the other side, I have got dragons and like a um, castle on that side. So that kind of works. Now, I used to have my beard in this sort of facial sort of stance, but my missus didn't overly like it. And my haircut, I'll show you my hair quickly, is kind of similar. So, yeah, it kind of works. Kind of looks a little bit like me, I suppose. Probably like me minus 10 years, you know. Anyways, that's about as best as I could get it for myself there. And my vocation... I think, to sort of complement the thief, I think I might go a bit of a ra ranged to start out with, go as an archer, because the thief is up close and personal. So I'm going to go for archer. Okay, coolio. Voice. Let's have a little listen. You can... That sounds like a lady's laugh. Oh, these are all the ladies' ones. Here we go. Seriously? Well, that's a bit growlier. Can you actually do phrases? Well, say actual voices things, you know? It's hard to say. They're not actually saying words. That's, that sounds a bit more like my laugh, I suppose, doesn't it? But I'll go with that, sod it. Okay, I'm going to be stuck with this voice forever. So maybe maybe the main character, like in the first Dragon Dogma, doesn't actually talk. They just make sounds. So, yeah, that'd do. Fine. We'll go with that then, please. Finalise. Fuck yours. And I'm going to call it Captain Steve. Yes. Capitano! Capitan! Can we have two words? Good, we can. Yike! No, no, we can't. It doesn't quite fit. Okay, we'll just go for Steve then. Captain Steve! Okay, boom. Okay, Steve. No, it's a shame. But oh well, I have Steve there anyway. Mokia, and hopefully they're going to have Captain in here. That'd be nice. They've got Cap. I don't think they've got Captain. No, it's all alphabetical. You know what? Cap is fine. Cap Steve. There we go. Captain Steve. There we are. Cool. Confirm. There we are. Lovely jubbly. And we'll hit yes. And yes. So that's my main pawn. And that's my um main character done. Pretty happy with that. So in the origin, we've got this chappy here. That's him. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. I even put my back tattoo. Yeah, I've got a big face on my back. Looks like something out of Hellraiser. It's pretty darn snazzy. And yeah, we've got that. Cool, yeah. So that's him. And then we go for this one over here. So this is my, my pawn. Whoops. Didn't mean to press the button there. There she is. My little demon girl, Phoenix. So cool, you. Hopefully, on day one, you'll be able to pick up her inside of the Rift if you've added me as a friend on the old PlayStation PSN. And yeah, I will be playing on PlayStation. I honestly can't wait until the 22nd of March now. Very excited, people inside the view of us. So there we go. That's pretty much what I'm going to roll with. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything, people. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. This is the second video I've done of this. I hadn't created my Arisen, and now I've created my main pawn. So yeah, there we go. 
looking forward to this on March the 22nd. Hit me up on this channel on that day, and I'm going to be smashing out content for this game like no tomorrow. It's probably going to take pole position on my channel for a little while, Dragon's Dogma 2, because I loved the first one. I've done a whole playlist of the first one. If you want to watch that, I'll put a link over here. Go and watch the whole playlist of my Dragon's Dogma playthrough. Or if not the whole thing, inside of that playlist, you will find a review of Dragon's Dogma. That Dragon's Dogma right now is cheap as chips. Go pick it up on the actual store on any platform, pretty much. It's out there. Until next time, people, salute to Mondo. Goodbye and goodbye and goodbye again.